Hey, MFFLs, how are we feeling on Thursday? Mavs face a 2-0 series deficit. So I want to know, is this series over? Simple question. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Are the Mavericks done? Are they packing for Cabo? Is the offseason upon us? Type Y for yes, type N for no. want to see how you guys are feeling here on a Thursday. We'll break down last night's loss. Look ahead to see how the Mavs can get back into this series. Welcome in to Mavericks Today by Chat Sports. I am your host, Harrison Graham, breaking down the Mavericks' loss to the Suns in game number two. And this was quite a bizarre game because you look at the final score of 129 to 109, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, the Mavericks got blasted. They actually had a halftime lead, believe it or not, 60 to 58. Uh, the second quarter last night was the best quarter the Mavs have played in this series. Maybe a fourth quarter of game one, but they were so out of it going into that quarter, it didn't really matter. Second quarter last night, I thought they really hit Phoenix in the mouth. Uh, but then the Suns, I mean, if you if you say they got hit in the face in quarter number two, I mean, they, they ran over Dallas in the third and in, especially in the fourth quarter, dominated the second half by outscoring the Mavs by 22 points. It was a bloodbath, man, after halftime. Luka had a big first half. Bad th third quarter, decent fourth, but, uh, you know, the Suns really went after him defensively, and Chris Paul was just surgical, man. Devin Booker hit a lot of shots. Uh, Mavs have a lot of work to do facing a 2-0 series deficit. Uh, they've had good moments in this series, but uh, when Phoenix is playing at their best, I just I don't know how you beat this team at the end of the day. So Dallas loses game two by 20. What is your one-word reaction to the Mavs' loss in game number two? I want to hear it from you guys down in the comment section. I mean, just, you know, disheartening more so because uh, Phoenix is just that good. So give us your one-word reaction. I'll tell you what, uh, Luka Doncic, even on nights where you're like, man, he's the talking point because of how poor he was defensively in the second half, he still goes for 35-5-7 and seven on 13 of 22. I mean, we talked about it in game one where he had 45-12-8 and eight or whatever it was. I mean, the guy – scores 30 plus in his sleep it's unbelievable can somebody offensively give this guy help now again we're gonna talk we'll, we'll talk about how he he got picked apart defensively and he certainly deserves some blame for that but I mean he is carrying such a load offensively that yeah he might be a little gassed on the defensive side of the court especially later into these second halves I mean hell his head coach said as much that Luca needs some help he said hey he had a great game but no one else showed. That's pretty damning if you ask me. We've got to get other guys shooting the ball better. We can't win with just him out there scoring 30 a night, more like 40 a night. <laughs> Not at this time of year. And we're playing the best team in the league, so we've got to get other guys going. When Luka's having to do this much offensively, and then the Suns start going after him defensively because they realize, hey, yeah, he can't guard Chris Paul one on one. We're gonna run that little uh, that little pick and roll game with Chris Paul in a wing, whether it's Booker uh, or Crowder or you know Bridges doesn't matter. Switch Luca on Chris Paul. He can't guard Chris Paul. Which by the way, just like Chris Paul can't guard Luka Doncic, it goes both ways. At the end of the day, Chris Paul at six foot one seventy five two hundred pounds compared to six eight two forty, he's just too quick. Too good of handles uh, for Luca to hang with him possession after possession. So uh, there, there's so much on this guy's plate. Uh, the Mavs got to find a way to get him some help uh, in games three and in games four. Who needs to step up? Because, look, we can be, you know, as negative as, as I'm being right now, Phoenix just held, court, uh, held home court. Like, Dallas can still come home, win these two games, get this back at two. It's going to be tough, uh, but nothing you know unexpected has happened in this series in terms of a team winning a road game. Mavericks can still get into this thing, but they need someone to step up. Who do you think that person is? Let me know in the comments section. Now, if you want to go bet on the NBA playoffs, which, by the way, no games tonight, an absolute joke by the NBA, but you can bet on the Mavs game on Friday and uh, other games as well. Chatsports.com slash MFFL. Use pro uh, promo code MFFL to get 125% deposit bonus. We have updated odds for the NBA uh, finals for who's going to win it, which, hey, like, Phoenix, they're favorites for a reason, right? Like, I mean, they flipped the script so quickly last night. Golden State at plus 275, Boston and Miami at plus 450, and then Milwaukee at plus 650. 
500. Go bet on the NBA playoffs. Go bet on futures odds like this one. Chatsports.com slash MFFL. Promo code MFFL to get that deposit bonus. I think Jalen Brunson's got to be the guy that wakes up. And I know that's obvious because, hey, you know, in the first round he was tremendous. And, you know, he was, um, you know, Batman for the first three games and then Robin the next three when Luka came back. He's got to play better. I mean, 11 points per game in two games, that's not going to cut it, especially since he's shot 9 for 28 from the floor in this series. That's just not good enough for a guy who, uh, you know, coming into the series, we were saying might get $25 million per year. I guess the one silver lining is if he stinks it up the entire series, maybe you get him back near that $20 million per year. Who knows? Uh, but uh, I'm not really worried about what a future contract looks right at, right now. I'm worried about trying to get into this series and at least give yourself a chance. And listen, I have no issue conceding that the Phoenix Suns are a better team than the Dallas Mavericks. That being said, uh, I, I also don't want to watch a four or five game series where, hey, Luka Doncic, probably the best player in this series, but uh, the team they played once again had the next five best players. Because that's been the case so far. Luka's arguably been the best, maybe Chris Paul, but either way, uh, through two games. Uh, after Luka with Dallas, Paul, Aiton, Booker, Bridges, Hell, Jay Crowder, they've all been better than anybody Lucas playing with. So you got to get the guy some help. And Jalen Brunson, you, you want to get paid? I mean, hell, you got to be that guy who steps up in game three. If you want more Mavericks news, rumors, postseason reaction videos, make sure you subscribe. Hit the big red button here on the channel. YouTube.com slash Mavs TV is the link to share with your MFFL buddies. And uh, let's get this channel rocking and rolling. And, hey, if there's only two games left this season, the offseason coverage will ramp up too. So subscribe today. We'll have you guys covered all offseason long once that begins and, of course, the rest of the playoffs. All right, game three, Friday night at the American Airlines Center, uh, 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern. You know, you come home, that, 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 that crowd will be amped up for a late-night start. The later the tip, the better it is uh, here in Dallas uh, because those early tips, you know, the arena doesn't fill up. I expect a jam-packed place. It was electric in Game 5 against the Jazz. I expect something similar, and, uh, you know, it's a pick -em game, so it could go either way uh, according to Vegas. And, you know, sometimes just, just win a game. Win one game. Calm, calm the weather. Because that's another thing. You've lost 11 in a row now to this team. Like, If nothing else, you just need to mentally beat this team. Even if you're not going to win this series, just it would give you good energy into the offseason. Like, okay, like uh, this Phoenix Suns monkey is off our back. Uh, we can at least beat this team and, you know, make the adjustments to the roster or whatever this team does this offseason. But win game three, and let's see if the Mavs can make a series. Keys to victory for Friday night. Uh We've talked about it. Luka needs a Robin. Uh, Luka's a great Batman. Um, you know, he's averaging 40 in this series. Like, can someone give him 20 points? I mean, I thought it was going to be Dinwiddie last night. He had 10 in the first half and then couldn't make a shot in the second half. Uh, Bullock had a nice shooting game, 16 points, but he's not. He, he's a catch-and-shoot guy. You need a creator, Dinwiddie or Brunson probably, to give you 20-plus points. One of those guys has to deliver. Number two, I would run some zone defense. Um, you're getting picked apart in the pick and pop, pick and roll game. Uh, run some zone. Listen, we know Phoenix can shoot the ball from three, but they actually kill uh, teams with that mid-range game and getting uh, that alley-oop game going with Aiton as well and just the backdoor cuts. I mean, hell, how many uh, – producer Coop, how many – Bismack Biombo dunks happened last night. Three? I mean, come on. An absolute joke. I'd rather run some zone. And, hell, if the, if the Suns make 23s, at least you tried something different. And then speaking of threes, got to make 18 or more. I mean, it, maybe 20. It, it, you know, I would run zone. I'd, play, I'd keep trying to play small. I would take Dwight Powell out of the starting lineup, by the way. I would just concede that he can't play in this series outside of, you know, many stretches here and there. Because, uh, by the way, we didn't even talk about this. Second game in a row – off to a 9 nothing deficit. I mean, it's just such – I know the Mavs came out to take a halftime lead, but, like, you just it's such a mental thing when you're down, you know, basically double digits just to start the game. So, you know, mix things up. I go back to, you know, Carl, Rick Carlisle in the 2011 finals making that game three uh, adjustment in the starting lineup. Will Jason Kidd do something similar? Will he take Dwight Powell or someone else out of the starting five? Uh, we'll see. I want to see how Jay Kidd and this staff responds uh, to getting blasted in Phoenix. All right, so we'll ask you, will the Mavs win a game in this series? Type one for yes, type zero for no. I think they'll at least get one of these games at home. Uh, I hope it's game three because you win game three, you're back into the series a little bit. You at least have a chance. Uh, I think they'll win a game, but, man, all of the stuff we're talking about, 
it's a moot point when Phoenix is playing their best. For Dallas to win this series, they have to play their best, and Phoenix has to not play their best. And that's just the reality of it. And doesn't mean it can't happen. You know, Chris Paul's blown 2-0 series leads before uh, on four different occasions. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right, folks, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Please subscribe. We'll have you guys covered. Hopefully uh, later on we were, uh, we'll be talking about a Mavericks win. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. YouTube.com slash Mavs TV. I've been Harrison Graham. We'll see you soon here on the channel.